Diabetes is a major public health problem that is approaching epidemic proportions globally. However, now, there are many products that help to control this disease. Jardiamet is one of them. In this video, let talk about it. I am Daisy, welcome to HeInfo channel. First, what Jardiamet is used for. Jardiamet is used to lower blood. Sugar levels in patients with type 2. Diabetes mellitus. It may be used when diet plus. Exercise do not provide adequate. Blood sugar level control either, alone as a single medicine, or in combination with certain other anti-diabetic medicines such as sulfonylurea medicines such as glimpyride and glybanclamide, or pioglitazone, or insulin, or dipeptidyl peptidase, 4. Inhibitor medicines such as linagliptin. If you have type 2 diabetes mellitus and cardiovascular disease, empagliflozin, one of the active ingredients in Jardiamet, can be used to reduce your risk of dying from your cardiovascular disease. How much to take? Your doctor will tell you how many Jardiamet tablets to take and how often you should take them. The usual dose is one Jardiamet tablet twice daily. Take Jardiamet exactly as your doctor or pharmacist has told you. How Jardiamet works. Jardiamet contains two different active ingredients, empagliflozin, which belongs to a group of medicines called SGLT2, sodium glucose cotransporter 2, inhibitors, and metformin, which belongs to a class of medicines called biguanides. Both medicines work together to control blood sugar levels in patients with type 2 diabetes mellitus by increasing the amount of glucose expelled in urine and lowering the amount of sugar made by your body, lowering and controlling blood. Sugar may help prevent or delay complications of diabetes such as heart disease, kidney disease, blindness, and foot amputation. If you take Jardiamet, you may be at a greater risk of genital infections and urinary tract infections. Tell your doctor or pharmacist if you notice any of the following and they worry you, genital burning, redness, pain, and discharge which may be signs of a genital yeast infection, passing more urine than normal, itching, loss in appetite, loss of taste, thirst, diarrhea, or stomach ache, feeling sick, nausea, vomiting, constipation. The above list includes the more common side effects of your medicine. They are usually mild and short-lived. That SAOM information we collected. Thank you all for being here today. I appreciate your time and attention during the video. If you have any questions or feedback, feel free to share 